Smith Apollo. <laughs> My name is Chris. I am blind, which, look, it's going to be just like watching any other comedian, except if any of you guys down the front here do need a piss, you can just go. <laughs> I'm from Liverpool. Oh, yeah. I live in southwest London now with my wife and the dog, which is brilliant. Love having a dog. I didn't realize I was such a dog person until we got the dog. And just between you and me, sometimes having a dog, a little bit better than having a wife. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I don't have sex with the dog. <laughs> so that's the same. We got a little daughter at home as well, which maybe I should have told you about before the dog in the order of priorities and <laughs> stuff that's happened in my life, but you know, it's a good dog, isn't it? <laughs> my wife, she is uh, not of these parts. She's from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm a very, very lucky man. She's a, she's a good-looking girl, so she tells me. <laughs> there are trust in a marriage, haven't you? <laughs> she wanted me to go to Rio with her for Christmas, see where she grew up. <laughs> That's not the joke. Uh, <laughs> Turns out, Rio at Christmas, that's their summer, isn't it? That's a Brazilian summer, so I just asked her, didn't I? I said, now, what do you reckon it'll be in Rio at Christmas? She told me like it was the most casual thing in the world, like she's telling me the time. And she went, oh, I don't know, 40, 45 degrees? I said, piss off. <laughs> it's like gas mark five. <laughs> I said, look at me, I can't go there, I will die. <laughs> anyway, we compromised and I went. <laughs> works, apparently. <laughs> These are real trousers. <laughs> it's difficult sometimes, marriage, isn't it, you know? Jesus was married. That seems to be quite a popular theory these days. I think that would explain a lot, wouldn't it, if Jesus had a wife? Explain the 40 days in the wilderness for a start and the, <laughs> and the fake in his own death. <laughs> Twelve hours to Rio, 6,000 miles, it's a long way. We landed, I'm not going to exaggerate, it's 35 degrees. I even said to my wife, not as hot as I thought it was going to be, to be honest, a little bit hotter than I'd like at home during the summer if I was given the choice, but bollocks, I'm on holiday, you make an effort, don't you? <laughs> she said it's midnight. Kicking round the place. This is this is spare heat they did not need anymore. <laughs> the next day when the sun came up, it was 49 degrees <laughs> at Christmas. 49 degrees. Even the locals were moaning about it. I thought, what chances has Scouser got? <laughs> if the Brazilian people are struggling. I've had sunstroke at the Reading Festival. <laughs> People ask me, they say, Chris, what is it like trying to raise a child when you can't see the child? It's ups and downs, you know, ups and downs. You just gotta go with the flow. Can't prepare yourself, you know? She's, she's three and a half now. When she was two and a half, if you haven't got kids, by the way, as soon as they get to two, they're adorable. They just start asking questions. They wanna know what everything is. You are their source of information. They wanna absorb the world. My daughter, she's two and a half. She's in the bath. I'm, I'm knelt there, I'm batting her. She's like, what, what, what's this, Daddy? What's this, Daddy? I oh, don't bloody know, do I? Give it here. Just... <laughs> you might be two and a half, but you know way more than Daddy at this point, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> what's this, Daddy? Ice cream? I was like, ice cream? <laughs> Big handful of shit, wasn't it? <laughs> Massive. <laughs> Not like a little pebble. Not like a little 
are sweet as well. Did that cut an impressive quantity for an adult male? <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure the dog hadn't jumped in and done it when my back was down, and she just scooped it out. She just slapped it in there in one go. <laughs> it threw me. I didn't... Look, right, I obviously didn't see it coming. I didn't even... No, no. I didn't even smell it coming. This came from underwater. This was a stealth move, right? <laughs> And I'm not entirely sure exactly what happened, uh, you know. I've narrowed it down to two options, I think. I've given it some thought. I mean, she was two and a half. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. She deserves the benefit of the doubt, doesn't she? Option one, benefit of the doubt. This is what happened. She sat in the bath in the warm water. Yeah? She farts. <laughs> she shits herself. <laughs> she doesn't know she's done that. A few minutes later, that goes floating past her in the bath, doesn't it? She... <laughs> She thinks to herself, I wonder what the bloody hell that is. That, that looks a little bit like ice cream. <laughs> I know, she thinks. I'll ask Daddy about that. He knows about these things. He's a very, very clever man, yeah? That's option one, isn't it? Benefit of the doubt. Option two. She's a bloody comedy genius. <laughs> she's sat there in the bath. She's got Mr Penguin up here on the wall. She's got a Mr Penguin, Mr Penguin. Get on this now. This is gonna be brilliant. This is gonna be This is gonna be amazing. Watch his face now. Watch his face. Watch. Keep looking, keep looking. What am I gonna do? Not only am I gonna do a shit and put it in his hand. I bet you I can make him sniff it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what? I've just turned 40. What a way to start a decade. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.